Hey guys, I'm out here at the Pick and Patch in Marionville. I picked my pumpkin. Let's go have an adventure. How it started out um, was my husband just kind of started a small patch and some area preschools were interested in coming out and looking. So it was just a, like, you know, a garden sized patch. This is our 26th season. There's approximately 15 acres of pumpkins out here. It's National Pumpkin Day. And gosh, you know, we'd sure like to hook you up. <laughs> I believe the largest pumpkin we had this year was maybe 80, 85 pounds. And the largest pumpkin that we've had here at the farm since Richard and I have been married was 125 pounds. We don't focus on growing great big ones. We like to have a lot of nice standard sized pumpkins that people can pick up and carry home. We have, in this display, we have a nice variety of the stuff that um, is available here. Um, what I'm holding in my hand is a gorkin. And that is a cross between a gourd and a pumpkin. It's not necessarily something that I would eat. It's, they do, they're beautiful de for decoration. And because it's a cross, you'll have all shapes and sizes. They won't all look like this. There are several different, they come out kind of crazy. Um, for the school groups that come out, we have a couple of fields of, of pie pumpkins and they truly are pie pumpkins. They, um, this pumpkin would make probably two pumpkin pies, but for the kids, this is a perfect size for them to be able to pick up and carry home themselves. We have everything from the larger pumpkins I talked about before to our tiny little minis. It's a baby boo and a Jack B. Little. We have the flat white Ford the funky looking guy in the middle is a blue hubbard squash and just on the other side of the squash is a red warty thing we have made pie and soup different things out of pretty much any variety of squash or pumpkin that we have out here over the years i know that one year i went ahead and gutted one of these and cooked up my Thanksgiving stuffing and served it in that. It looked beautiful. So it doesn't have to just be a jack-o'-lantern. It can be a, a vessel for any kind of a, a dish. If you will mix up a solution of bleach and water and just simply dip your pumpkin into it. That's, we do that when we bring them in out of the field. We do generally wash everything before we set, out, set it up out here. Um, that does slow down the decaying process. And especially if you're gonna carve it for a jack-o'-lantern, if you will dip it after you've carved it, then that slows down the decaying process. That's Did you so have fun. a great time? It was so fun. And there was lots of other people there, too, having a great time. Of course. These little towns around here have the best things going on all I'm the time. I'm jealous because, Kaylee, you know I had a pumpkin patch in my backyard this year. You did. And I grew some um, pumpkin, pie pumpkins, yep. and I grew some carving pumpkins, and then I did some decorative pumpkins. And they turned out nice, and then I bought the seed for the world's largest pumpkin, and I, I watered it every single day and night, and it got this big. Oh, that's it. But listen, your those squash really take the cake. Those, yes, those but I did grow some squash that got this big. Yeah, they I didn't awesome. know how many different types of pumpkin and squash there actually were. Right. I that think blew my lot. mind. Did you have a favorite one then going there? I like the white pumpkins. I do too. Those are my favorite. They're beautiful. You know what ones I don't like? What? The ones with the warts on them. Oh, I know. <laughs> I don't understand why you grow pumpkins with the warts. It looks like a, a witch's face. Well, you it's know. perfect for Halloween. All right. Well, thank that you. That is so Kaylee. fun. I would like to go yes. back there. I bet you saw a lot of kids though playing too mm -hmm. in the pumpkin patch. Yeah, that's <gasps> new. Yeah, that was yesterday, right? <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Now it's the time you've all been waiting for. Oh, We're going to yes. give away this beautiful centerpiece, this pumpkin centerpiece from the thicket. Yes, we got the drum roll. All right. Yes. And the winner is Sandra Hancock. Sandra Hancock. Sandra, yes. Thank you so much. Yes, you're. This is yours, you. Sandra. Look at that now, right there. We want to remind you. We're going to let the thicket come pick this up, and you can pick it up there 
tomorrow or after. So congratulations on your prize. Yes, and we will also send you a little Facebook notification that you won in case you're not watching, which you should be, Sandra, just yes. so you know. And this is a beautiful, beautiful prize. It yes. It's the best centerpiece. It will, yeah. I'm really bummed we all can't enter to win that. I know. And it's I really good. Uh, it really it does, like yeah. Cinnamon. Well, the good thing about the thicket is this will last you all this season, and you can save it for next year. Put it away and bring it back Put out Put it away, next year. bring it back in. That's right. We also have another giveaway. We do. It's oh. for the Alamo Draft House tickets, along with the passes to the Hotel of Terror. And the winner is, are you ready? James Hebel. James. Woo, James. There are the tickets right there on yes, the desk. Yes, they are. James Hebel Hebel. I hope I said that right. There we go. Those are the tickets. We're going to hold those up. Yep. Because those are awesome. Yep. So you're going to get to go to Alamo Draft one. House got one more. and the Hotel of Terror. We're so excited. We'll send you Facebook messages also to let you know that you've won. But don't lose heart because every week yes. we're going to be giving away a beautiful centerpiece and a fun prize <laughs> from Alamo Draft House. We are. We're giving away a lot of stuff on this show. Yeah, there she's got. And the oh. other one's in the back room. We'll just bring it up for yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll right. get it to you. And I think with the tickets for the Alamo, you're going to come here to the station. Right. But again, we'll email soon. Congratulations, Sandra and James. That's right. Congrats. All right. I Very love it. Good. And... We have so much more in the show to, to go. Yes, There's we do. so much fun. Listen, this is the most action packed two hours of morning television you're going to see. <laughs> That's right. Coming up, we're checking back in with the news desk and another look at the weather. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back.